Welcome back and thank you for joining us. Well, tragic news tonight. The family of Stephen Twitch boss, known to millions as a longtime DJ on The Ellen Show, confirming he took his own life at the age of 40. Kate Snow has more from his loved ones and fans. He was a regular on The Ellen Show for years. Over a decade ago, I met someone who changed my life. Stephen Twitch boss. Twitch was the DJ, but more. Ellen's favorite dancer and partner, eventually executive producer. When the show was ending back in May, Twitch reflected on his time there on Today. It was so emotional. And, it, and what was crazy, though, it was like, you know, it was a lot of the, the little things that started to really get me, not even the big moments. As recently as Sunday, Twitch was dancing with his wife, Allison Hoker, in front of their Christmas tree. They'd just posted celebrating their ninth wedding anniversary. Friends and fans stunned by the news he took his own life Tuesday. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans, Hoker said. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement. His death adding to a devastating trend, suicide rates up nationally over the last two decades, the highest spike in recent years among black Americans. One of the things that we will hear oftentimes in the black community is just this pride in not looking like what I'm going through so that folks don't know when they're actually struggling. Back in May, Twitch was overcome talking about his time on the Ellen Show. You gave me a place. <laughs> Or I can just be myself. When we say goodbye after the show, we both say love you. He says love you much, and I say love you. And so he's never going to be out of my life. Today, Ellen writing, I'm heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. To many following along on social media, the 40-year-old father of three seemed so full of joy. A reminder that pain can remain hidden. Today, his wife writing, Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. Kate Snow, NBC News.